Question for you. If regular old water contains hydrogen and oxygen, remember it's H2O, then why can't we burn water if it already has this explosive stuff called hydrogen inside? Well, the answer to the question is we don't think of water as having already been burned, but basically the combustion process has already happened when you take hydrogen, combine it with oxygen, and it makes an explosion of fire forming water as the product. Here is the launch of a space shuttle. The side boosters use a different fuel here, but these three engines on the bottom are burning regular old liquid hydrogen with liquid oxygen, so hydrogen and oxygen, and the exhaust from these engines here is basically water vapor. There's a large cloud, a white cloud that comes out when we launch one of these things. And so that's just water. And so that is the combustion process. So the reason why we can't take water and burn it is because it's already been burned. Here's a close up picture of one of these engines. This is the space shuttle main engine. You can see the business end of it uh, looks quite hot. So of course the combustion of hydrogen and oxygen releases a lot of heat in the process when it forms water. And the key to this whole thing is all of the energy released there because water molecule is a very stable molecule and I wanna talk about that next. So you all know that H2O is what you drink every day, but here's the actual chemical reaction. You take two molecules of hydrogen, each uh, molecule is H2 here, there's two of them, and you combine it with a, an O2 molecule, so there's two oxygen atoms there, and, uh, and then you combine that together, and then these on top form a single water molecule, and then these on the bottom form another water molecule, that's why there's two of them in the final product. So two molecules of hydrogen, one molecule of oxygen yields two molecules molecules of water. Now here is actually a molecule of water. You can see H2 here and then the single oxygen here. Notice it's a bent molecule and these sticks refer to the chemical bonds there. Now the thing is, you gotta remember that when things undergo a chemical reaction, they usually end up in what's called a lower energy state. Lower energy is like almost, if you stretch a rubber band, you can feel the force pulling on you, but when you let go of the rubber band, it automatically contracts into a lower energy state. So when water is formed in this chemical reaction, the electrons that are being shared between the atoms here, they're in a lower potential energy state. That means they're more more stable. In fact, water is one of the most stable molecules and that's why most of our planet is covered in water. So the reason why you can't burn water is it's already been burned. It would take energy to break these bonds and it's too stable so it won't happen. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.